Good morning guys, today's video is a get ready with me holiday party edition. Let's just get into it. I already took a shower. I'm gonna go into skincare. I'm gonna use the SOS Tower 28 facial spray. This is all right. I more so use it just to prep my skin. I got a few products from Verse and I'm really liking them. I always get this brand confused with Verb, the hair brand. I don't know why. I think their logo looks more or less the same, anyone else? But I'm gonna go in with the Hydration Station Booster with HA. So today I'm filming this video, getting ready for the party. Also going to try to do a TikTok. I don't know why TikTok videos are very daunting to film. I keep trying to perfect it. The shorter the videos, the more of a perfectionist I am. It's really annoying, which is why I don't post on TikTok enough. And then I'm also going to go in with the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. I am breaking out just a tiny bit. Ugh, breakouts are so annoying. I can't go one week with no breakouts. I at least have one. Part of the reason, I just like to claw at my face. Even if there's like nothing there and then I create something, like on my forehead. Nothing was there and then that just happened two days ago. My nose has been feeling it. I'm hoping it's just the allergies and not a cold. My lips are so dehydrated going in with the M Cosmetics. This is the lip cushion in clear quartz. Love this. I go through it very quickly and I still have that sore on my lip. Almost gone. A couple more days. They are so annoying but this time it's even more annoying because I've been drinking more tea and I love eating spicy food and those two things are just not helping this at all. This is the Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. I love a good gel cream especially one that's affordable. This video is so different for me because it's very casual and you can see my mess in the background and my lights and whatnot. Skincare is done, moving on to body care. Going in with these two products, they're by Necessary, the lotion and the oil. If you've seen my body care routine, winter edition, this is the stuff that I've been using. I like to use, oops, ooh, I'm almost done with this one. I like using a combination of the lotion and oil. Just put a few drops, mix it in, and then rub it all over my body. Don't know why, but every time I do this, my dogs are obsessed with licking me. They love to lick it all off and it's really annoying because necessary isn't cheap. I'm just trying to keep my skin moisturized. Do you see that bruise right there? I fell one night picking up boo from daycare and it was raining that day and there were leaves on the ground so I fell and I didn't realize it in the moment suddenly and I drop Boo's leash, she's walking, and then she starts running back to me because I just start tearing up. And I was like, oh my gosh, Boo, you care about me. You know, she was like so worried, it was really sweet, which made me forget that I even fell. I hurt myself a little bit on my finger, but besides that, not bad. For this holiday party, I'm going to the city. If you guys don't know, I live on Long Island. I used to live in the city for the last four years and then COVID hit and that changed everything. In a way, it really just worked out. Saving money, being closer to my mom who's sick, being able to see her almost every single day and just helping her out. It was worth it and we got two puppies and just have more space. So it definitely worked out in the end. I'm kind of nervous to go in the city because of COVID, even though I did get vaccinated, I'm getting my booster shot. It's just really nerve wracking, especially going into a venue that's small and there's just a lot of people. It's just something I worry about, especially because I have a mom who is older who lives in assisted living, you know? Like those are the things that you have to think about. Anyway, those are just the things that are kind of going inside of my head that I'm always constantly thinking about, especially now that I'm going into the city. I haven't gone into the city in a minute, specifically taking the train. I think the last few times I've been taking my car just because it's more convenient, especially with two puppies. Onto the makeup, we are using this one. In my last video, I talked about using this palette specifically using this one eyeshadow. Today, I wanna use that green. I told you guys last time that I want to use that green and I am. It's very daring for me. It's Citroen Envy, so beautiful. It is going to be quite messy. I'm going to do the eye makeup first. We need a good eyeshadow primer just to get everything started. This is a must. I will have everything linked down below. Since this video is more chill, I'm going to list everything because I might not say every product that I'm using. So if I forget, it's done. Below. I also love this mirror because right now I don't have a mirror. I'm supposed to get one from my friend Which I'm really happy about because it's quite hard using just a little mirror just to do your whole face This mirror has been wonderful in my last makeup tutorial I used this palette, but I only used one eyeshadow this time I'm going to be using 
I think about three, pretty much just focusing on this palette. I know I said I'm primarily using this eyeshadow palette, but I need a lighter transition color just to start off with. So I'm going in with this bronzer from Physicians Formula. Had this one for years. And I'm just gonna start going into the crease. Oh, wait a minute, I'm supposed to do a tutorial. Shh. Nix that, we're gonna go into the hair. See, this is why I can't do a YouTube video and a TikTok. It's really hard for me to figure out when to film one, when to film the next, and then to film again in between. Barely did much of anything, so I could easily take that off. We're gonna go into hair. I'm going for a very relaxed wave. So to create that, you could do either two things. One, sleep with braids, but sometimes it can look a little too defined, so you either have to put less braids or just keep Keep the braids really loose but since i didn't do that last night and i took a shower instead i will be using a straightener first i'm going to quickly blow dry my hair straighter before i heat style my hair i like to put in a couple of products this one is the gizu heat protecting spray and this one is the color wow dream cocktail leave-in treatment this is like a leave-in conditioner just a little bit lighter and i've been loving the new revlon plus i've already reviewed this if you missed that video comparing the original to the plus check it out right here just so you guys know, I love it. Been using it ever since that video. This cord is on the shorter side, so I don't think I'll be able to film myself blow drying my hair. Not too much volume since I am gonna go in with the straightener. Halfway there, I still need to go in and braid my hair, use the straightener. First, I want to do the TikTok video. It's actually the one using Rihanna's voice. You know, the one that's like trending right now. Hopefully it's still trending. Gosh, I feel like every time I find something like, ooh, I want to do it and I save it. And then weeks, months later, it's no longer trending. And I'm like, damn, I missed out on my opportunity. We are doing that now. This is my favorite affordable brush. It's by Kristen S. You can get it at Target. I love it so much. Great at detangling. Also very stylish. I'll have it linked down below. So now I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. It can't take me that long because I'm not even, am I even mouthing any? If I, do I even have to like memorize lines or anything? I don't think so, at least not for the before. I'm gonna do it right there, be back. So I filmed the first part of the TikTok video and it only took me five tries and I said, what, one word? I'm just so picky with TikTok videos, I don't know why. But back to the hair, since I have quite thick hair, I'm going to do a couple of braids. So I'm going to do two. So all the hair in front of my ear and then all the hair behind my ear. So I'm just gonna do a normal braid, not a French, nothing special, nothing fancy. I'm just gonna do it like this. I do want it to be loose again because this is a loose wave you're gonna look a little crazy but trust the process i'm just waiting for my flat iron to heat up what we're going to do is just gently press on the braid going all the way down i like to do it a couple of times and then i just wait until the braids cool off take it out sometimes i have to fix the pieces that frame my face which i'll do a what kind of wave is it is it an s wave no it's not an s wave but kind of like an s wave just for the front pieces now we wait until these braids cool off so going back into the makeup, I had to move you guys because the lighting was driving me insane and this is just natural lighting. So going back in with that bronzer, I'm going to put this in my crease. Isn't that the perfect crease color? Isn't that the perfect crease color? Use your bronzers as your crease colors because it will just pull the whole look together and it just makes it a lot easier. So let's go into that green shade. I'm just going to wet my brush. Now this is very messy. It's even more messy than the other shade that I used. Isn't this shade perfect for the holidays? I don't have anything like this and it's just so vibrant. I need to wear more colors on my eyes because this is so stunning. Deeping up the outer crease, I'm gonna go in with this shade, focusing it right here. If you follow me on my Instagram, then you already saw this look, but not up close. And if you haven't already, you should follow my Instagram because for post more fashion content and just what I'm wearing. This color is so pretty too. This is very different than the other tutorial that I just posted, which is quite cool. I wanna add even more. So I'm gonna go in with something just a little bit darker, ever so slightly, like right here. I barely touched it and look how much pigment there is. You Using tape to get the excess glitter off my face. And there's already my dog's fur. Oh, having a Sammy, <laughs> you get fur everywhere, even if you clean so much. If you guys don't know, I have two puppies. They're very adorable. They have an Instagram account. Randomly, they started blowing up. Don't know why, don't know how, but it's 
all of a sudden they're just, it's crazy. Instagram is so frustrating trying to grow and to know that their account is growing, I'm not mad about it. But I also don't understand why or how, like none of it makes any sense. So if you wanna see some cute puppies and some holiday content, I'll leave their Instagram down below. My boyfriend just picked these up and they are so addicting. I think they're better than the original Takis. These are the Takis crisps and they are so, so good. <sighs> They're so good. I love spicy foods, spicy snacks, spicy desserts, spicy drinks. Mm, that is where my heart is at. I'm going to do my base complexion products. They are the exact same as the previous tutorial. If you need to refer to that, I will have it linked up in the cards and at the end of this video, but I will be right back. We're almost there. I wanna show you guys the blush that I'm using. It has been my favorite blush for any kind of look for something more natural or something more full glam like this. This blush by Burt's Bees is amazing. They make amazing blushes. This is Toasted Cinnamon. It's like a blush bronzer for me, but it's stunning. You guys have complimented me on this blush and this is what I like to wear. This one and M have been my top two blushes this year. See that difference? It just warms up the skin so beautifully, but it's not too warm. Going back to the eyes, I'm gonna use that bronzer and do the lower lash line going halfway and then connecting the edges. I'm going to darken it up just a touch with this shade that I used in the crease, not the darkest one. Just really focusing it right there. Going in with my trusty L'Oreal Infallible Black Eyeliner. This will last all day. Won't have to worry about any smudging or anything. I'm going to create a small wing using the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Eyeliner. This one is so black. I don't want too much eyeliner right here, so I'm just going to create a very very thin line this eyeliner does very well over shimmers and glitters some eyeliners aren't dark enough this one's just so pigmented i'm going to do a very small inner corner wing as well so i like using a pencil first just to get it where i want it because i don't want it to be thick at all and then i can go in with the pen just to deepen it up but this just gets the placement of it all right that's it don't touch it don't make it any bigger kind of want to fix this wing because it's a little bigger than what i was going for Ooh, i do have it let's see if it still works this is by lit i think elf has one too oh it's gonna work or if there's anything even left this feels so dry you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add my cell water to this and then fix that corner going in with the exact same mascara as last time just about done with this one wearing the same lashes as last time it's actually 421 i think i said 424 in the previous video i think setting everything with the elf setting spray this is my favorite cream highlighter it's by stila it's gorgeous this is in the shade brilliance i hope this is still available i got this a couple of years ago i love a warm gold highlighter and this one just melts into the skin so beautifully m cosmetics lip liner in teddy is a must the perfect warmy nude pairing with it the m cosmetics true gloss in caramel glaze these pair perfectly together makeup is finally done so let's go back into the hair now the braids have definitely cooled off see it's like a really slight weight. That's exactly what I'm going for. It doesn't look like I have to fix my front pieces with a straightener, but let's say you did and didn't have this beautiful bend. You can use a straightener and do this technique where you go, my straightener's not on, but you go like this, like you're doing that motion and just do it to the front pieces and then that's all you would need. Hair oil is a must. I keep going back between the Gazi one and the bread one. Both of them are really, really good. Here looking shiny. Sometimes my hair will stick up like little baby hairs here and because I have a widow's peak and these pieces in the front tend to stick up, I want them to be really flat. So I like going in with this. The label is basically gone, but it's by Kristen S. This is the recovery balm. I like to warm it between my fingers since it is a solid. Gently press down the baby hairs. I like this more than a hairspray. And it also gives a nice shine to the hair. Just makes your hair really shiny. And then you can also go directly too, but I just, I like warming it up first. I also like putting it at the ends of my hair. Again, I don't want it to be perfect or anything. I just want a more like lived in wave, you know? This background is a mess, but let's keep continuing. For dress, this one is from Free People. It's just a knit long sleeve dress, a very thin knit. So I won't get too hot at the party. Usually I would wear something like a spaghetti strap, but since I'm traveling from the island, I am gonna 
gonna get a bit cold so I'd rather do something like this it has a small cutout but it's still it's not too sexy and also it's a dress that I'm gonna wear more than once like more than just this event and that was really important to me because a lot of times for holiday parties or any special events I only wear it once sometimes maybe twice but it's very rare see what I mean it's really pretty simple but again not too sexy so for under it I'm going to wear these shorts again just to keep myself warm since my chest is exposed I am going to add some glowy body oil this one is by summer Fridays this is the pool time the perfect amount of shimmer not too much it's not going to make my chest look like a disco ball or anything for perfume this is my favorite perfume I really only wear this perfume sometimes in the summer i'll switch it up it's the jimmy choo the original one i've been wearing this for almost a decade yes that is right i've been wearing this perfume so long even when people smell it they're like yeah that's me <laughs> there are some people that have tons of perfumes that's not me i like one and done and it's already hard enough to find a perfume that i really like i can't exactly smell it but it's just it's a warm scent, but it's not sugary or anything. It's a little musky. Oh, it's just, it's the best. I can't find anything better than this. But since I am traveling, I do need a jacket, but I didn't want anything too heavy. And I wanted one that was a little more dressy. So I'm going to wear this duster. It's old. It's just like a satin long duster, but it's not going to keep me super warm. Let's keep that in mind. Like my chest is not covered up or anything. See, we're almost there. And for boots, I'm just going to wear these over the knee boots. I've had these since college. I've been changing out the heel. This might be the third time I've had them for so long. I take care of them. Like I actually clean the suede spray waterproof, you know, shoe spray all that stuff. This is the final look and I'm ready for the holiday party. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. It was a bit everywhere as you guys can see. I live in a hot mess. It's clean and then it gets messy again. That's just how it is. And if you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.